Hi, my name's Ben Conway. I attend Havering College and I'm studying MB MBQ Level 2, Food Preparation and Cooking. Okay, today I'm going to make some fresh pasta dough. I've got my ingredients ready. I've got some double O flour, which is finer than normal flour. Um, I'm going to measure out 250 grams of this. Okay, so I've made, weighed out my flour and I'm going to add a pinch of salt to that. And I'm just going to sieve that to get rid of any impurities in there. Okay, and to that I'm going to add two whole eggs. And two egg yolks. Okay, so I'm going to add that to the flour and salt. And to this I'm going to add half a teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil. Now I'm going to get my hands dirty now, mix this all up. This needs to get to the consistency of almost like a bread dough. Mix it all in and then I'm going to knead it together. And now I'm going to turn it out onto the surface just to knead it a little bit more. So what this kneading is doing, it's mixing all the ingredients together and it's activating the gluten in the flour. I'm going to knead this for about a few more minutes. Okay, when I'm kneading the dough, I'm pushing with the heel of my hand bring it back in, cut it in, and do exactly the same thing. I'm going to move the pasta around each time I do it. So, there we go. Just like that. And that gets it totally incorporated. The consistency you want in the, in the dough is an elastic consistency. So you can see it's stretching and pulling back. You could make a few other variations with this pasta dough. You could replace one of the eggs with some chopped up uh, spinach to make a green pasta. You could, if you wanted to make a yellow pasta, again replace one of the eggs with some saffron infused water. And if you wanted to make a red pasta, you could uh, replace one of the eggs with some sun dried, no not sun dried, some tomato puree. Okay, I think that's just about done. So we're going to put that back into a bowl. And we're going to cover that with cling film. Okay, we're going to let this rest now uh, for about 30-45 minutes and that's so the gluten doesn't uh, spring back. Uh, we're going to put it in a cool place.